So the Baltimore Ravens were a heavy, heavy, heavy run team during the 2019-2020 season. Uh, that was evident from the first play of the first drive of the first game. And um, I got two different plays here, one being power, one being split zone, to kind of show you how the Ravens' O-line and running game set the tone for the rest of the year. Uh, this first play is going to be a power play. I'm going to kind of take you through the ins and outs of it and show you what happened and show you how Bozeman you know, used his uh, football IQ to, to adjust it. And then we're going to um, you know, talk about split zone. That's the second play. And then the final play, which will be power, we'll talk about that, and it's close to the goal line. So let, let's dive into um, the Baltimore Ravens' first drive of the year, uh, three big running plays, and let's see how they, they execute it and set the tone for the rest of the year. So initially, what's supposed to happen is both you need you need three parts of the power play to happen. You need pullers, you need down blocks, and you need kickouts. So initially, that guy should be the kickout. This guy that's being highlighted here should be the guy Bozeman being pulling to. And you gotta have down. There's your down block by the center. Down block by Yonder. They're going to end up uh, trying to double team if anybody shows up. Get a down block by Stanley and Orlando to that backer right there. The ones that's highlighted. You should get a stabbing hinge by your tight end. And Bozeman's going to pull around. Bozeman's pulling around to kick out the play side linebacker, which we will see later on there ends up being no play side linebacker. The play side linebacker ends up being... The guy outside of the box right there. I think he's number 40 or 48. So now you have all your pieces in place. Only thing left is to execute. Ball snap. You see you got your down blocks right there by the tight end and our center. You got another down block by Yonder. Even though his head is on the wrong side, his head should be on that right side. You know, uh, biting the shoulder pads, blocking that guy to the left side of your screen. So instead of his head being right there, it should be where the arrow is now, blocking him to the left side. You got a double team by Orlando and um, Ronnie up to that play side, back, well, that middle linebacker, because he's the only backer really in there. You got Ricard kind of um, trying to figure out how he's going to block the E man on line of scrimmage. Even, you know, and ideally you'd like for Ricard to kick that guy to the right side of the screen, but at that, as tight as he is to Orlando, as tight as he is to Orlando, you really just got to blow him up. You really got to blow him up. And then this is where uh, Bozeman's football IQ comes into play. Because Ricard's block is not ideal. He really just fits him face up and tries to drive him off the ball, which he does. Now look at Bozeman. Realize there's nobody in there to pull to. Puts his hand on the back of Ricard to kind of give him some leverage to bounce outside. And then he's going to end up kicking out the guy we spoke of earlier which is number 40 or 48. And the, really the fact that he's just standing there lets us have a huge hole. And look at that gap right there. It's great football IQ by, by Bozeman. Good job of toughness by Ricard. And then Mark Ingram just hitting it. Runs over a guy. Still forms a guy. Ends up getting a 49, 50-yard play to open the season. And I remember uh, watching this play when it first happened. I, I went to the AMC Theater. And they were showing football games early in the year. And seeing this on the first play, I about threw my popcorn up. They just let me know that, that I was hoping big things were in store. But watching it again, you know, going through the different blocks, you can get a um, stabbing hinge by 86. Him and the center is going to double team that, 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 the guy that say, what technique is that? That's a three technique. Um, you're just going to kind of come down and get the, the one that's on the left side of the center. Stanley and Zeus are going to double team that, what's he, uh, he's a four eye maybe, because Stanley's really the tight end in this, this set, and Stanley's going to come off and seal that tackle, that Stanley seal that, that, that linebacker, I mean not the tackle, Stanley seal that linebacker, 
the car face to face with his guy. Bozeman not pulling up in there for nothing because there's no space in there to, for him to get through there. And then bouncing outside, and Mark just hit that thing. Mark just hit that thing. He just let it flow naturally and saw the crease and hit it almost perfectly. Almost like the play was designed to do that, which I know it was not. Another, again, 49, 50-yard gain to open the seat. So now let's go to the second play, which is I initially thought was power, but it's split zone. And it's split zone. Bam. Ricard, Ricard just did a great job of kicking guys out. He's the kickout guy. So, so on split zone, what's going to happen is all the O-line are going to run inside zone left. Stanley has that guy. You're going to double there. And then uh, Bozeman should come off to that linebacker. Then a double between Yonder and Orlando to that linebacker there. And you're going to down block by the tight end, which I think that's Boyle. Um, Macari's going to be the guy to kick that end guy out. And so basically when split zone happens, those guys run inside zone left. And the hole normally hits off of the kick out. You got your double teams up in there. You got your uh, Yonder, you got your double team with the uh, Orlando and Boyle. And you got your kick out by Macari. And you see the seam already opening up it's already opening up Gus sees it blocked up front huge 11 yard gain in that same drive where we just picked up a 50 yard gain now to the goal line and this is power again you bring a Hurst in motion to kind of get you a four 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 person surface you got Bozeman pulling you got McCarry going to kick out so you got those same elements we talked about in the first play with power everybody else with down blocks Everybody else with down blocks. See them up front. All of them. And then um, 89 trying to stab and hinge that backside. Don't let that guy get in B-gap. He don't want that guy to come in the gap that Bozeman pulled from to, to, to crash the play. So he did a good job of that. McCarr kicks out. Bozeman pulls up on the first call of the shows. Touchdown. Early in the season. Early in the season. And what this did for me was let me know that we were about to punish people with the run game. Basic principles. Power. Inside zone, split zone, uh, stuff like that. Safe runs that that was more about attitude and execution. And um, having Mark Ingram, he had the, the perfect complement of speed and, and power to fit in that mode. So with that being said, a lot of stuff that we did last year, I don't see much changing other than the addition of play action off of these types of run plays. So uh, Lamar's progression as a passer it's really going to uh, take a leap. Uh, I expect us to average 200 and 200 again or somewhere in that area. Maybe like I would be happy if it even went to like maybe 175 and like 250 passing. That would be even more you know knowledgeable because of um, the evidence of the play action. But this is a, a quick little synopsis of our first game of the year, first drive, how significant running the football was going to be in our offense. Did a great job of that on this series and most of the year, except for the two losses and the playoff game, with a three, which was the three losses. But well, this is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films on a quick play synopsis of uh, split zone and power from the first game. Uh, if you the first time here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And um, happy Cinco de Mayo. See you tonight with questions with Coach, 9 p.m. If you're watching the replay, see you when I see you. Peace.